Hello everybody, this is Bodine once again, and I am returning to answer a simple question given by one of my viewers. Uh, this is probably going to be my fastest video this whole time. Um, this question asks, how can you tell in nomenclature whether it is appropriate to use cis trans or EZ? And there's actually a very distinct difference between both of them. I'll show you now. Here, I've drawn a uh, table, if you will, of uh, moments where it's appropriate to write cis and trans and where it's appropriate to write E and Z. There's an easy way to tell apart the cis-trans versus EZ isomerism. Cis-trans refers specifically to the position of the hydrogens, while E and Z refers to group priority. You see, over here, each one of these compounds has two hydrogens. It has to have two hydrogens on... Um, adjacent carbons on a fixed bond, not necessarily a double bond, but a fixed bond. And these hydrogens, based on where their positions are relative to each other, will designate the compound as being cis or trans. Cis when the hydrogens are on the same side, trans when they're um, like across from each other. And uh, the Z and E isomerism is used when you have priorities instead of uh, hydrogens, because you see there's only one hydrogen in both of these compounds. On this case, chlorine is the higher priority on this carbon because it um, has a larger a larger atomic number than the carbon does. And the carbon over here obviously has a higher atomic number than the hydrogen. So these are both the uh, top priority groups. And because they are on the same side of the molecule, this is designated as Z. On this one, the chlorine and the carbon are still the high priority groups, but now they're on, like they're across from each other as opposed to being on the same side. Because of this, this is designated as E. So, cis trans is only used when referring to positions of hydrogens, and EZ is used when referring to the positions of high priority groups across a fixed bond. Thank you very much, and I hope to get even more questions from you soon. This is uh, turning out to be a lot of fun, so just. Uh, Email me anything, and you might be lucky enough to be the next person featured. Have a nice day.